Okay, last story is with me, Neil Kagram. Today at Sussex, we're joined by Delray Rawlins. Delray, how's it all going? Yeah, good. Um, yeah, it's been, been a nice um, month or so getting back into it, but yeah, it's going to go. Yeah, we're in uh, November at the time of this recording, winter training. We're going to do a little piece with Delray just to show what professionals do get up to during the winter period. Just run through the kind of stuff we'll be, you'll be doing today, a bit of gym, bowling, batting. Um, yeah, pretty generic really, um, you know, things in the winter obviously, um, you know, sort of working on a few things, um, probably probably a lot more physical going on than, than, than in the season, but um, yeah, a bit of gym, uh, just pretty generic and then, yeah, I've been working on a few things with my batting um, and yeah, I've been working on a few things with my bowling, so yeah, a bit of a snippet of that. Is it a good time to reset? You know, the cricket season is well documented, very full on during the summer periods. Good time to reset, look at your game and obviously physically work on areas that you that you need to? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, you know, you look at, like you say, we're in November now, so, you know, you've got, got quite a while to, to that first game in, in April. Um, um, so, yeah, this is prob this is the best time to do it. Um, you know, I've been messing around with a few things with my batting, with my bowling. So, yeah, this is the best time to do it. And, you know, you've got months and months to, to, to sort of get to where you want to be. And then, yeah, you know, when you feel like once you get to that, that, that mark, the sort of April, then yeah, yeah, you're all on a round to go. And then a word on your career today. If you play for England under 19s as a youngster, Bermuda, currently, run us through it for those that don't know. Yeah, um, you know, I was lucky enough to, to do a couple of um, young lines and 19s tours. Um, you know, a great experience. Um, you know, going to India for, I think it was five weeks in the end. Um, you know, experience a different culture um, at such a young age was quite nice. Um, and yeah, I experienced different conditions. Um, it, was, it was a big learning curve and, and yeah, it was, it was really enjoyable. But, you know, like you say, it's, you know, sort of back playing for Bermuda and stuff. And, and um, yeah, that's been good as well. Um, you know, our last few years, we, we, we made it to World Cup qualifiers and then, you know, the next time sort of just fell a bit short. But, um, you know, We've got a we got a nice you know, decent squad, um, and hopefully you know there's 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 a there's a spot open for the next one, and hopefully yeah we can get ourselves back in. What are your short term goals for the next few years? So you play across all formats for Sussex. You're involved in the first edition of the hundred in the squad for the Southern Brave. What are your ambitions for the next few years? Yeah, I mean you know just you know trying to keep putting putting in performances here at Sussex. Um, you know I think. You know that's that's the main goal really, um, and I think everything else around that takes care of itself. Um, yeah, I think you know we're, we're we've got quite a young squad here, which is exciting. Um, some you know very exciting players, and you know a couple of nice additions, you know overseas, and, and a couple of nice senior players. So um, no, yeah, just just looking forward to the summer ahead here, and and um, yeah, I think you know trying not to look too far ahead and sort of taking it one day at a time and. You know, like you say, if you if you put in performances, you know, at your county, I think you know the rest of it takes care of itself. And then just to end on in this section, before we dive into the main body of the video, any tips you can give a young player, perhaps that doesn't have the the insight into what professionals do? Any nuggets of advice you can give them for their training? Um, I mean, well, for us, for me, um, try and keep things pretty simple. Um, you know, you don't want really too much going on at one time, you know, you're sort of thinking about this and that, you know, try and sort of hone in on one particular part of your game that you want to improve it at that, you know, particular time. And, you know, once you feel like you're getting the improvements in that area, I think that's when you can probably move on to something else. But yeah, try not to have too many things that you're trying to, you know, do at one time and, and the main thing is having fun with it, I think, uh, as, you know, us as professionals, I think, if you're not enjoying it, yeah, it, it gets, it can get, um, the days can get long and get pretty dark, but no, nah, it's the main thing, um, keep enjoying it and keep enjoying what you love. Yeah. Perfect, let's get into this video, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have a net today, um, been working on a few things, um, been working on different things in my setup, um, you know, had a bit of a mess around sort of for the last month or so and started to find something that's quite comfortable and has been working for me. Um, you know, things with my hands and, and, um, and my head and, and, you know, keeping my, keeping my balance and stuff. So, um, yeah, 
going to just have a have a white ball hit today and, and um, hopefully yeah, it, it strike a few well and, and um, the things that I've been working on are going well. Nice job, boy. We well played. Yes. Yes, nice. Wait there. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Spade. Yes, mate. Yes, Stella. Nice contact. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Wait there. Get set early. I'm waiting for the ball. Wow. That is awesome. Hands as well. Kept yeah. them so connected. Awesome, mate. Good. Yes. So now a bit of bowling. Um, you know, something that I've worked on a lot in my uh, six years, I think it is, I've been a pro. Um, something that, um, you know, is starting to become a big part of my game. Um, especially in white ball, um, you know, obviously trying to develop my red ball, bowling a lot more, um, but yeah, enjoying it. Gym now, um, bit of power, a bit of explosive stuff, um, and strength, a bit of mixture of both. Um, sort of at this time of year, is sort of probably build up a bit more strength and and uh, with 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 your explosiveness, and then yeah, as you get closer to the season, probably more more explosive um, power stuff. Mm -hmm.